Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, check the description for all my information and uh, channels. I have a playlist on my channel for Hacker Rank and Leak Code Solutions. This problem is called Get Node Value. Um, this one, I haven't done this one before. I don't think this was on Leak Code, but it's pretty cool and it has a little trick solution. So um, you're given the pointer to a head node of a linked list at a specific position. Counting backwards from the tail node of a linked list, get the value of the node at a given position. If position zero corresponds to the tail, one corresponds to the element before the tail, and so on. So um, let's just talk, go over what they mean by that really quick. So um, I'm gonna, I, I drew this little thing a second ago. So let's say our, this is our list, right? So this is our list, um, right? right now and what we're want we're getting passed in is one obviously so we're only getting the head and we're looking for the element this distance from the tail right so we're given this and we have to loop through the whole thing at least at some point um, and we're given let's say we're given three right so we want the third element from the tail so this is zero elements from the tail one two three so we want seven right now what, what can we do? What can we do to get seven in the fastest way possible from this problem? Well, you could loop through the whole array, but how do you know that you want to get the third element from the end, right? You can't just do a counter or anything like that. So you, here's a way. You could loop through the whole array, and you could get the size of the array, right? And then you could loop through the whole array again, and you could have a counter set to zero, and you could you know, go to size minus position from tail or something like that, and you could get that element, right? That's two loops, it's linear. That's a good solution, right? That's pretty good. Um, it's not bad at all. So that's a, an approach, but the I think the smarter approach here is the one that I just saw, and I did, would have never thought about it, but it is like really smart. Um, so I'm gonna sh that's the one I'm gonna show you here. So. The, the way that they did it is they, they created this pointer, right? So they create a pointer and they set it, they'll, they'll say, let's say pointer node, right? Is equal to head, right? And then they have an int called, you can call it whatever you want. Um, let's just call it um, counter, right? So you can call it whatever you want. Um, then they have this loop with the head. Well, head is not equal to null head equals head.next, right? So this is just looping through the whole list, right? This is a really standard loop. Um, what we're gonna return is pointer node.data, and that'll make sense in a second. So this is just a regular loop, right? And we have a counter variable, and um, yeah, that's pretty normal, right? So we're looping through the thing. Now here's, here's where the trick comes in. If counter is less than position from tail, so if counter is less than position from tail, we're going to increment counter. And we're not gonna do anything else. The head is still going, so it's still scanning through the tail, but our, we're only incrementing counter if it's less than position. So if it was three, we well, head is looping, so you know head is gonna go from one to two to three to four. Head will be at four by the time we hit, um, while our counter is less than position from tail, like position from tail is three, so on the first one, um, counter is zero, and then we go to two, counter is one, then we go to three, counter is two, and then we go to four, counter is three. And then we can do this next condition. Now that we're at three, we're, we're, at, we're at the fourth element here, right? And we're just going to now start putting our pointer into action, right? So pointer equals pointer dot next, right? So now pointer is at one while head is at four, so head goes to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and while that the, he's doing that, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more jumps. And he, the pointer starting here, so it's going one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, wait, let me think about that. Head is here, right? Head goes one, two, three, four, five, six more jumps. So I counted that wrong. And he, the pointer starts here, and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and it gets seven. So basically you just don't increment the, you don't set, you don't traverse with the pointer at all until you get to the position you need to be on the left side 
and then carrying starting from the beginning once you get to the position on the left side you'll automatically end on the position of the left side this will break out right when you get to your final element and then you can repoint, return the pointer.data because they want to, you to return the data from the node. Hopefully I did a good job of explaining it. It's kind of hard to explain because it is a little trick solution. Uh, maybe just look at it and digest it a little more because, but it's really cool. Um, so I haven't seen that one before. That was interesting. That was get node value and we're doing the next one. I think we got four more, three more. Thanks for watching and check out the next one. See ya.